Today, I'm going to walk you through the complete process of using Google VO3 to create realistic AI videos with the voice. I'll show you the exact prompt structure that prevents you from wasting credits, how to access VO3, and how to create viral quality content like the clips you just saw. Before we dive into the technical stuff, let me tell you what makes VO3 different from every other AI video tool out there. Unlike tools that just create silent video clips, VO3 generates complete productions. We're talking video, sound, talking characters, and basically everything you need for professional content. I've tested dozens of AI video generators, and most of them give you these weird uncanny results where characters look off, our movements seem unnatural. VO3 actually understands context, emotion, and realistic human behavior in a way that's genuinely impressive. Now I'll be using OpenR to access VO, so if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. So once you're on the homepage, you'll see there's a generate video option right here. Click on that and you'll see the video creation interface within OpenArt. OpenArt actually has four different video generation modes and knowing which one to use is crucial. You've got image to video, text to video, element to video, and audio. For VO3, we're going to focus on the text to video option since that's where you can access Google's VO3 model. Now, image to video lets you take a static image and animate it. Perfect for bringing photos or AI generated artwork to life. Element to video is even more advanced, allowing you to combine multiple reference images like a character and a background into an animated scene. However, these features aren't available with Google VO3 at the moment, but that's actually no problem at all because VO3 excels at text to video generation. The model's text understanding is so crazy that you can describe complex scenes, character interactions, and camera movements, and you'll get some amazing results. Click on text to video and you'll see a prompt field here along with different model options. This is where you'll find VO3 listed as one of the available models. And trust me, it's worth selecting because the quality difference is immediately noticeable. This is where most people mess up and waste a ton of credits. VO3 has a specific prompt structure that dramatically improves your results, and I'm going to break it down into three essential parts. First, start by describing your character's appearance in detail. Next up is the camera work. Then you can add whatever dialogue or sound that you want in your video. Let me show you this in action by creating a viral gorilla character series. We're going to create three separate scenes, then combine them into a complete video. So here's my prompt. An intelligent gorilla wearing glasses and a casual button-up shirt sits at a sleek modern desk surrounded by high-tech gadgets. The close-up shot captures his face in sharp detail, with the background softly blurred thanks to the shallow depth of field. Professional lighting highlights his features, creating a clean, polished look. With a friendly yet confident expression, he looks directly at the camera and says, Hey everyone, I'm Kong, and today I'm reviewing the latest AI tools that are changing everything. Notice how I structured this. Character description first with specific details like the glasses and shirt, camera angle in the middle with professional lighting, and the dialogue at the end with, he says, followed by the exact words I want him to speak. The he says format is key for VEO3's voice synthesis. The model is trained to recognize this phrasing and will automatically sync the lips and facial expressions with the dialogue. You can also add details like in a deep voice or excitedly to fine tune how it's delivered. Now I'll set the quality to 1080p, choose the normal video mode and hit create. And that's perfect. Hey everyone, I'm Kong. And today I'm reviewing the latest AI tools that are changing everything. Look at how natural the gorilla looks in this professional setting. He looks just as we described, and the voice delivery feels completely authentic. Now for our second scene, I want to show Kong actually using technology, maybe typing on a laptop while explaining something. An intelligent gorilla wearing glasses and a casual light blue button-up shirt sits at a sleek modern desk surrounded by high-tech gadgets focused as he types on a MacBook laptop. The medium shot highlights his hands in motion on the keyboard, with the screen displaying detailed AI-generated content. The modern an office setting around him features lush plants and a large window that lets in natural light, casting a warm, inviting glow across the scene. His expression is thoughtful, conveying concentration as he speaks. He looks up slightly and says, the key to getting great results is understanding how these AI models actually process your prompts. The key to great results is knowing how AI models read your prompts. I'm keeping the character consistent with the glasses, but now showing him in action. The medium shot lets us see both his hands working and his facial expressions, but you can clearly see how the hand movements look completely natural too. VO3 really excels at these complex interactions between characters and objects. For scene three, I want to create a more dramatic moment where Kong reveals something surprising about AI technology. Here's the prompt, an intelligent gorilla wearing glasses and a casual light blue button-up shirt next to a giant screen showcasing AI 
generated content. The wide shot captures his full body with dramatic lighting that casts deep shadows and a cool blue glow emanating from the screen, illuminating his face and silhouette. His posture is strong and assertive, arms crossed, exuding confidence and authority. He looks directly at the camera, his expression serious yet approachable. With a knowing tone, he says, but here's what most people don't realize. These tools are just getting started. But here is what most people don't realize. These tools are just getting started. This looks absolutely insane. The dramatic lighting and the way Kong interacts with the digital environment creates this really professional, almost documentary style feel. And now we have all three scenes that tell a complete story. Introduction, demonstration, and revelation. Now that we have our 3VO3 generated scenes, it's time to use CapCut to turn all your clips into a polished final product. First, I will download all of my 3VO3 clips from OpenArt. Make sure you save them in a folder where you can easily find them. Open CapCut and create a new project. You'll see the interface with your timeline at the bottom and preview window at the top. Import all three clips by dragging them into CapCut's media library. First, I'll drag Kong's introduction onto my timeline. Next, I'll drag Kong typing on the laptop right after scene one. CapCut will automatically place it in sequence. And now I'll add Kong with the digital screen as my third clip. Now here you can do a bunch of stuff within CapCut, but I'll just leave it as is. Once you're happy with the edit, all you need to do is to export your video in 1080p. Now let's look at our final result. Hey everyone, I'm Kong, and today I'm reviewing the latest AI tools that are changing everything. The key to great results is knowing how AI models read your prompts. But here is what most people don't realize. These tools are just getting started. We've built an entire video series with rich characters and storytelling just from text prompts. Kong feels like a real personality, the scenes flow naturally together, and the overall production was fast and smooth. The key to success with this approach is planning your scenes early in the process. Think about the story you want to tell, the different shots you need, and how they'll work together in the final edit. This prevents you from generating random clips that don't serve your overall narrative. So now you know how to use Google VO3 to create realistic AI videos with a voice that actually look professional. With v Video 3 and open art, you can create viral quality content that rivals traditional video production, all from just text prompts in an easy to use interface. Open art has quickly become one of the top AI platforms, offering over 100 different models for generating images and videos. In addition to VO3, you can tap into models like Flux for photorealistic images, Stable Diffusion XL for unique artistic styles, and specialized anime models for character creation. When it comes to video, you've got access to Kling 2.1, the latest C Dance 1.0, and even Pixverse. Plus, OpenR is constantly adding new models, usually just a few days after they're released. So if you want to give this a shot yourself, I've left a link to OpenR in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.